Take five. Yes, I've been trying to record this same video five different times. It's a case of just things going wrong over and over and over and over. Okay, let's run through this again. <laughs> and I'm sure you need to see all of the stuff that I should be cutting out. Police descend upon a 107-year-old man and shoot and kill him inside of his home. And thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. I'm blinking too much. Okay, so here's a scenario. The old woman invites uh, Mr. Isidore, who is 107 years old, to live with her. This is a story, as, as far as I can piece together, there has not been a formal uh, statement given by the witness. Uh, supposedly, she went to discuss him moving into an apartment uh, outside of the home, and he pulled out a gun. Uh, so she and her grandchild, they didn't say grandson or granddaughter, grandchild were then told, if you want to live, get away from the door. Whereupon he proceeded to lock the close and lock the door, right? Uh, the woman uh, obviously didn't think very much of it. Uh, she casually went and called the police. She, uh, from, from my perception of the way she was talking, she was hoping the police would talk some sense into him. She said that normally uh, he got upset and she was able to calm him down in the past, but that uh, now he had a gun, so she felt that she should call the police, and she thought the police would uh, calm him down. Well, the police show up, and just 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 for uh, clarity, the woman's black, grandchild's black, uh, and the uh, Mr. Isidore is black. The police, all the police are white in the, scenario, in the scenario, and the state is Arkansas. She calls the police. The police show up. Uh, they proceed to the locked door uh, and try and talk to him, whereupon he fires. They back away. Nobody's injured. Nobody's hurt. I don't even, I don't even know where the bullet went. Uh, he All he had was a handgun. So he fired maybe once or twice. Keep track of this, right? So they back away and call a SWAT team. So 12 people show up, four go to the back window, uh, you know, the others go into the hallway at the door, they, they break up, who calls a SWAT team on an old man? SWAT team is for like, bank robbers with Uzis and 20 hostages, that's SWAT scenario. An old man in a back room, locked back room by himself? SWAT team? This is not going to end well. You already know, right? So, uh, they try and talk to him, and he shoots again, I believe. Uh, they, uh, no, no, no. They don't, he doesn't shoot. They get a uh, mirror, stick it under the door, and verify that he has a hand gun. So, uh, they then proceed with their, what they're going to do. They bust open the window, throw in a grenade, throw in a gas, uh, gas uh, from the door. Uh, he, they said literally he does not, uh, pay attention to the distraction me measure from the window. And they come in, guns ablazing. The witnesses in the neighborhood, one guy said they shot at least 30 times. Another lady said it was countless, and it was like this. So it was obviously sort of fully automatic weaponry on this 107-year-old man with a handgun. And they said, and he shot back. Nobody was hit by Mr. Isidore, and of course, Mr. Isidore was completely taken out. Now... What, what, what's the problem? What am I going to say is wrong? Uh, what I'm going to say is wrong is we shouldn't be handing out GED, uh, GED, uh, holders, badges, and guns to make decisions that adults need to make. 
The woman said that she had calmed them down in the past many times. If anything, these policemen should have called a psychiatrist, a doctor, a, uh, a negotiator, something like that. A SWAT team? A SWAT team is for a terrorist attack. A SWAT team is who you call at the Boston bombing. That's what a SWAT team are for. A 107 year old man, 107 uh, year old man. Now, this is completely out of line. Everybody was suspended with pay uh, pending an investigation. Then they had her on the news and they were uh, questioning her. And this is this is where I get angry. They put the most ignorant people on the news to represent black people. They are asking her just leading questions. Do you think there was any other way they could have handled that? And of course, she is uneducated and old and not a police person, has absolutely no idea about procedures. And she, of course, says, I don't see any other way that they could have handled it. 30 bullets? SWAT team? And of course, her house, her house is, of course, all broken up. And of course, the neighbors were all like, what it everybody in the house is old <laughs> they're not doing with uh, gymnasts or bodybuilders and they had a picture of the guy he's, a, he's an old black guy you know your regular old black guy 107 years old of course he had made the papers for being so old uh, before I would revamp all of the police departments across the land require a college degree in criminal justice for the regular police and a master's or higher for all other positions. It is not okay to be handing guns and responsibility of uh, assessing a situation without any psychological training, education, advanced education whatsoever. Obviously in a a potentially dangerous situation, which I don't think this was a potentially dangerous situation. A uh, old guy locked in a back room by himself is not a potentially dangerous situation. The only danger he posed was probably to himself. One newspaper said that it was because he didn't want to give up his gun. And that's what was going on and not a scenario of anything else. So... It, it seems like it was a case of the police getting overzealous. Tell me what you think. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show.